The one's right here. Downed one. There's a guy right here. Yeah, do it. Oh, they ran back. Someone... Someone just missed me with an RPG somehow. He's trying to get a res. Got him. Team wipe, dude. Nice. You're welcome. What gun was that? Oh, Stoner. What's up nerds, it's Mike again with another gun review and today we're going to be talking about the Stoner. I loved this LMG in Black Ops Cold War um, and then brought it to Warzone and hated it. But I've done some testing out with all the attachments and I changed my mind. So let me show you what I found. But before we get into that, if you like this video, give us that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And turn that little bell notification on so you don't miss any of the upcoming Warzone content. Here at MDM Gaming, we're trying to bring you everything there is to know about Warzone. And also in the comment section below, let me know if you are more of an AR person or an LMG person. I personally like the LMGs more. I used to be AR, but I loved the Bruin. I love this gun here, the Stoner. And I'll show you why, obviously. But let me know, do you like LMGs or are they just straight out because you're AR only? All right, so let's get right into it. I'm going to let you know right off the bat. I'm not going to show everything I tested. I'm not going to give you every single result. I'm going to cut all that nonsense out and tell you what I would use with this gun. And so when I'm doing my testing and when you see me shooting and all these clips here, you're going to see the attachments I run. Later in the video, I'll give you a breakdown of every attachment I use. So let's get started. When I was testing out the damage, I found that 0 to about 40 meters out, you were getting 51 damage to the head, about 51, and at about 37 to the chest, and about 34 to the extremities, so that's arms, legs, stuff like that. And then after that, it looked like about 50 was the next cutoff, and it was 50 till, as long as I could shoot, it was like 150, I think is the farthest I tested. And I got headshot was giving me 42 damage, chest was giving me 30, and extremities was giving me 28. So overall, this is a pretty good damage profile for a gun, especially with the 720-ish rounds per minute. I think it's a little less than that, but still really good. Um, and the thing that hurt this gun previously when I first tested it out was the bullet velocity. It just didn't seem to get the shots where I was aiming, so it really was gonna have to be either a close to medium range, which just isn't gonna compete. It's not fast enough to do that. Um, so it was useless. And then I test out some barrels, test out some muzzles, and I found that with the attachments I have on on this gun, you could get the bullet velocity pretty high, making it very competitive uh, at long to medium ranges, which is what you want when you're using an LMG, right? I'm not going to be running around trying to <laughs> compete with an SMG up close because that's just unrealistic. You'll never get sprinted fire time and movement speed. So once I found the right attachments, I found out that this gun is very viable and it is very very good so let me show you what i've got here um with these attachments i'm going to go over some things like uh, i already went over damage i'm going to show you the recoil pattern and as you can see this is pretty much straight vertical and that is just so easy to control making it a very manageable gun for any play style or play level so if you're like me and the rest of us here at mdm gaming at a medium to low level tier this is a great gun for us, right? So, I mean, most high level tier players aren't looking for LMGs, but if you're a low level to medium level, this could be a great gun to use. As you can see here, that recoil is just so manageable and the pattern is so nice and it just makes it for an easier gun. So the time to kill is closer to the theoretical time to kill because you're actually landing those shots. Whereas like if I am to take a CR Amax in here, and see the recoil pattern, and as I'm, like I said, medium to low range player, I won't be able to hit that many shots, so that TTK is really unrealistic for a player like me. So the TTK for the stoner here is pretty good and pretty reasonable. With that being said, you can see I'm using 120 rounds here when I'm doing the test for the recoil pattern, and so right off the bat, you know I'm using the 120 round mag, and you can see with that mag, the reload time is about six seconds. So isn't great, but I mean, that's the drawback to LMGs. You get more ammo and it does take a little longer to reload. But again, everything else I think that you'll see here makes up for that, including fire time, damage, um, 
bullet velocity now, range, recoil especially, so I feel like the strengths make up for the weakness in the reload time. Having said that, let's go ahead and get into the attachments that I'm running with this LMG here. Number one is, of course, the agency suppressor. You absolutely have to have this, number one, because of suppression, right? Everybody in Warzone is going to be using that to stay off the map. But also, it gives you bullet velocity, which is huge, especially for a gun that's going to be long to medium range, like we had said earlier. So definitely go with the agency suppressor. The next one is the 17.8 Calvary Lance Barrel. And that one right there, paired with the agency suppressor, gives you the best bullet velocity, and it's not even close. Every other barrel didn't even seem to help out near as much as this one. And it seems odd because this barrel here says like vehicle damage, but obviously that's a lie. So you have to have that barrel on. Uh, next, for me personally, I did Bruiser Grip. And that's specifically because it helps with vertical recoil, which is what I'm trying to control, especially since this doesn't really have much horizontal recoil. But if you didn't want to use that, you could also go with the field agent grip, which is also very good. The next thing I used was the 120 round mag. And that's strictly because I miss most of my shots. Let's not say most, but realistically, it's most. Uh, so I need the extra rounds. The 120 round mag is great, and the reload time is not that much different uh, for the amount of bullets I get, so I really wanted that, especially if you're gonna be going into trios or quads, you're gonna want all those extra bullets to wipe a team. So I like the 120 round mag with my LMG, and it didn't really affect the ADS time, so I thought, why not, go for it, right? The last thing I use is that two times optic, and that's mainly because, again, medium to long range, but also that's the closest, as far as zoom goes, to the VLK, and that's what I was kinda used to, for the previous guns and what I like to see with my zoom. So I go with that two times optic. You could also go with the three times if you want, or you could go no optic if you really wanted to and do something else. Like you could do a no stock if you wanna add that sprint to fire time. And if you're gonna go with that option and you're looking for sprint to fire time, maybe you do something like that fast mag instead of the 120 round mag. Maybe help you out with uh, reloading quicker if you're gonna be trying to do closer quarters. But I'm going to be honest with you, it's just not going to compete with SMGs and most of the ARs up close because they're just faster. So having said that, with this gun here specifically, I would run something like maybe the MP5 from Cold War or the Street Sweeper to pair with it. You definitely want something up close. So depending on if you're going to be, I don't know, rushing buildings or camping, you might want to stick with that Street Sweeper. Um, if you're going to be out in the open more and maybe just with a whole team, pushing buildings but not really camping too much constantly moving around you probably want that mp5 because it's going to have that quicker reload and it's also going to be able to take people down in close range so yeah that's it that's what i would do for this uh this gun here the stoner is great i love it personally uh i had so much fun as you can see in these clips uh, i'm not great you can see i miss a lot of shots but this gun makes up for that because of the high damage number one and number two because of its perfect recoil for me, this is like the best recoil pattern. So this gun by far is my favorite LMG right now. And I love the Bruin and I made a video on the Bruin, but this one I think is going to take over that uh, because of its damage. So, and its recoil pattern. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did get this far, do me a huge favor and put in the comments, Mike's hands are bigger than Mark's. That's all. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video, and as always, later, nerds.